Good day. Welcome to King Knows Everything. Got a new cool project. Got a midnight bike ride coming up. So I want to do kind of like a little laser show. And I got a couple of these fellows. Doing little animated laser stars. I got two of them. I got one in the box. And I got one at a garage sale for like $2. And I think I got the other one. It was one of those deals where they're, uh, it's Walmart and it's like February and they get rid of all the extra Christmas crap. You can kind of see this one originally listed as. 20 or 40 then it was down to 20 and then I got it at for two bucks I think two or three dollars at a garage sale and this one was still in the box I just took it out to play with it so I got two of them one in the box and one wild and free but basically what this does it's got a couple lasers a couple of different uh, um, shows that it does let me plug it in for you guys let's see if we got plug it in let's see Yep. Let's see. It's got a color mode and a rotate mode. So, so you got green, red, green and red. And then let's see, rotate. I'm not sure what the rotate does. Oh, the stars rotate. Yeah, they're stationary, rotate, they spin. So it's kind of a cool effect, especially in the dark. But um, let's see, let me turn it off. I guess there's no turn off. You can unplug it. But you get the idea, it's got a red and green laser. You can see the little lasers in there. Let me unplug it because I just blinded myself. But we're going to do, we're going to hook this up to the bike. And this fellow, if you look, let's see. It's a DC 5 volt, and I have a 12 volt battery, so we got kind of an issue here. I did mark black and red on here, so I know which one's positive and negative. We're going to test it anyway, just to make sure. And the same with this fellow. And there's no polarity on here, so I don't know if it matters, but I did notice it was kind of a keyed plug. Let's see, it's got a little flat piece there. So I'm going to test that just to make sure that which one's positive or negative, or does it matter? I'm going to guess it matters. So we got the uh, fluke out. So what we're going to do to make the 12 volt to 5 volt, I got a couple different these fellows. I got a, this is Magnolia Car LED display buck converter. So basically buck converter. And this is a, it doesn't say in here, but it's a, I think I took it out. Oh, oh. let go, let go. See, it's a uh, Changrufia, 12 volt in, 5 volt out. And I also have another one for another project. This is a uh, DC to DC. This one's a uh, 12 volt to 9 volt out. So you got 9 volt ones and 5 volt ones. So I think I may have a something for 9 volt. But you get these on from China, eBay, Amazon, like 5 bucks. They're very inexpensive. But I think first thing you want to do, we want to verify a voltage, what is 5 volt, or what's uh, positive negative, just to verify this one. And uh, the plug for, ah, let go, this fellow, which one's positive and negative. So I have my little Fluke 97, or 87. Yeah, this is one awesome multimeter. I had to fix the display. I think I did a video of fixing the display. And so we got it on DC. And I believe this is all charged up. So we should probably put the other clips on here. Let's see if we have. So we have 12.79 volts. So this fellow's charged. So black and red. So that is correct. And then on this fellow. Oh, shoot. I think we're going to need some little pins. You know what? We're going to have to cut this. Right, let's see. What's the best way to do this? Are the pins on this side? No, the pins are there. Okay. Yeah, see, this guy's keyed also, so... I'm going to guess that it does matter. Let me see if i got some pins to test this. All right, so I snipped it. I snipped it. It does have a marker on here. A little white text on this one. So basically put the back... Put 
back together. So let's see. I'll just strip this fellow. Kind of what we're doing, we're just trying to see which one is positive and which one's negative, so we do not destroy the little laser. That's one of my favorite tools, a little automatic stripper. I'll say that fellow right there. Maybe a little smaller. There. There. Okay. And then I'm going to plug this in carefully. Plug that fellow in. Without getting shocked. Getting shocked sucks. I get electrocuted all the time. The king gets shocked. And it's not fun. Okay, so we have... Let's put it back on DC. And a few more here. Grab... We'll just guess. There. And where's the black one? See the black one, guys? There it is. Snip. Five volts. Negative five. So we got this backwards. So since it's negative, I'll just verify that for you guys because I know you don't trust me. Do you trust me? You trust me, don't you? Five volts. So the positive is the unmarked wire so now that we know we'll leave this here just for reference which end is positive and negative we're gonna strip this end now and we're just gonna do it really quick for testing and then probably next week I'll kind of show you what we did so basically I'm just keeping the little pigtail for the laser That in there. Oops. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And we can turn this off. And move you out of the way. Just remember, positive was the. unmarked one so positive is let's see this one I'll plug him back in kind of get the idea of what we're doing here guys now we're going to take this little buck converter Too. All these wires are starting to confuse me. I'm getting corn fused. I'll take this fellow. Oh, wait, was this a 12 volt one? 12 to 5, okay. So we got battery, laser. So remember, positive is this one. So we're going to take that and then we'll take the negative one. So this is just temporary. I just want to verify that this little converter can take the 5 volt or 12 volt, make a 5 volt enough to make this work. And then I said the positive is the unmarked one. That's that fellow. And if this works, we'll be able to do maybe the two of them. I want to test out the battery also because I want to see how long it's going to last to run this. So that should be all we need. Then we get Mr. Battery. Mr. Battery over here for you guys. And I got this marked. Black and red. And if all is well, it should not explode, right? Oh, I see a laser. Let me grab some more clips here for you guys. We have more alligator clips. Do we? We do. We got alligator clips. Let's see. We'll just say the green's positive, the white is negative, right? Not to be confusing. 
negative e. Oops. I only got two hands. I need five hands. Rhett's positive. That part's hooked up. Rhett green's positive. Again, if I get that on there. That thing does not touch. And then white is black. There we go. Oh, and there you go, guys. Try not to mess it up too much, but you kind of get the idea. I think we've got a laser. Oh man, we're going to have a rolling laser show. Let's test this out. There's a multicolor. There's the spinnies. Kind of get the idea the farther away it is, the. Oops. We don't want these touching, do we? No, we don't want this stuff to touch. Spinning? Let's get spinning. I guess they're all stars. Again, stationary or spinning. Okay, so we have a laser show. I think I'm gonna be impressed. This actually does good. I think it's four. Let me unplug this so we don't damage it. I don't know what it said on here. Uh, da, da, da. Create a dazzling. I mean, light show in seconds, just plug and play. Look the other box. Three color modes. Let's find the other box. Uh, five milliwatts. A oh, projected cover, 3,200 square foot. So when you're on your bike, it's going to be a pretty sweet little effect. So there you go. That's what we had today. We're going to have a 3D laser show. And I got the other one. And I'll wire it all up nice and neat. And you get to see the full effect in the next video on this stuff. So hope you guys enjoy the video and kind of like the little buck converter, 12 volt to 9 volt. Chu Chuang Rifa. Chuang Rifa. Like I said, these are a couple bucks on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, that kind of stuff. And so that's how we convert 12 volt to 5 volt to make the little laser beam work. Ta-da! Hope you enjoyed the video. And you guys, that's you. Have a great day.